What's up, everybody? Welcome to week two here on the 52 Horrific Weeks in 1988. I am your host, Moon616, and thank you once again for stopping in. Alrighty, so yeah, what's up, everybody? Um, I guess the rest of the films went into the randomizer. Hit that random button, and we've got the fucking cheesy film Slugs. Uh... <laughs> This is the best thing about starting off these new series is that there's just so many films to choose from and I was just so excited when I hit that button tonight and uh, fucking I, I was not disappointed, you know, slugs. Um, yeah, I've always been a big fan of this film. I think it's, uh, I think it's just um, a cheesy, fun film. Um, but yeah, getting into the plot of this one, it has a very, very simple plot. It's basically about, um, you know, it takes place in this small little town which is cool and there's just like a series of random killings uh that keep happening all all throughout this town um then you got this um you got this healthcare worker um by the name of uh mike brady um he kind of starts looking into these killings because some of them are related to his business and stuff and um you know and they're they're kind of hitting home with him also because he knows pretty much every single one of the victims uh, sooner sooner than later he discovers um, some like overgrown uh, or kind of like mutated slugs in his uh, in his wife's garden so he takes these slugs to uh, his friend that works in his lab and stuff and they start doing some tests on them and then he gets this crazy idea that all these these murders around the town might be linked to these crazy slugs because um, you know some of the victims were completely chewed up and and eaten and stuff and it, it was obviously done by something um, so they soon realize that uh, that these you know overgrown mutated slugs are actually carnivorous slugs and they're actually you know drawn to you know flesh and stuff so they start to investigate more and um, yeah and of course some more killings start happening and yeah that's basically the plot of the plot of the film uh, very simple plot um, now my thoughts on this one um, <laughs> This is 80s cheese at its best right here. Uh, you know, it's got just such a simple premise, but I mean, you can't go wrong with a movie about killer slugs, mutated killer slugs. You do eventually learn, you know, why these slugs are uh, mutated and carnivorous and fucking whatever you want to, you know, how they became to be. Um, I won't give it away. It, it's not anything special or anything, but there's no need to give it away. But, um... But yeah, so there is there is a reason why these things are the way they are and stuff. And um, but yeah, th this movie just screams '80s. Uh, you know, it, it's just everything from the awesome hair and clothes, just to the really cheap. There's a lot of really cheesy dialogue in this too. Like, there's basically this movie just consists of a lot of random scenes that end up in you know killings and you know death from these slugs and stuff. And there's just this one scene that. It's just so funny, it's, you know, about this couple, um, this girl obviously has a huge drinking problem and stuff, but their, their, their conversation and the dialogue in the film with her husband or whatever, it's just so funny and cheesy, it just screams 80, I just love it. Um, but one of the coolest things about this movie is that the slugs are actually very cool looking and stuff. Uh, there's actually a scene where Mike Brady, he kind of reaches down into the garden and the slug actually, you know, kind of jumps up and bites his finger, it just looks so cheesy and awesome. Um, but I will say, though, the effects in this film are pretty awesome. Uh, it's got some pretty cheesy 80s slow-mo, you know, blood spurting and, and shit like that. So, um, uh, I, I will say, though, there is one part in this movie that made me laugh so fucking hard. Uh, it's, it, it takes place in the lab when uh, the lab technician or the lab or the scientist is doing some tests on these slugs. And he leaves this jar open and one of the slugs gets out of the jar and it gets in, it gets into this cage with this hamster. And it totally fucking devours this hamster. It just, like, they show this thing attacking the hamster. <laughs> fucking so funny, man. Um, but yeah, just overall, it's just, uh, you know, it's basically about, you know, Mike Brady and, you know, just trying to figure out a way to get rid of these slugs and stuff. And the whole end of this film is just, it's absolutely ridiculous. Just 80s cheese at its best. Um, I couldn't recommend this one enough. If you like 80s films and you like really cheesy, you know, kind of, I guess what you call this, like an ecosystem kind of creature feature environmental horror film. I don't know. Um, yeah, just mutated slugs. You can't go wrong. Uh, it's such a fun film. 
Um, it's got some very cheesy acting in it too at times, some over the top acting too, which is pretty funny. Uh, and man, there at times the score in this film is so funny. There, there's a scene where Mike Brady and, and the and um, the sheriff of the town are driving to uh, I guess the very first victim in the film's house, and the 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 song that they're playing at the time just reminds me of like a really old kind of. Uh, cheesy kind of sitcom kind of maybe draw I don't know it just it makes me laugh the, the score throughout this film or the music throughout this film just makes me laugh it's so funny um, but yeah I don't know if I had to rate slugs I'd give it definitely like a seven and a half out of ten it's really fun it's got some pretty cool kills in it uh, and it's got this one real memorable kill inside a restaurant it's just fantastic um, very memorable and it's just so awesome how they do it it looks so cool but um, yeah slugs from 1988 uh, they slime, they ooze, they kill, and that's what they do. <laughs> um, it's too bad they never made a sequel to this movie. Uh, as far as I know, they never made a sequel to this, but who knows. Um, but yeah, Slugs, I guess I've went on long enough about Slugs. I couldn't recommend it enough, man. If you've never seen Slugs before, check it out. It's 80s at its best. It's so much fun. It's just a great overall film, so... Anyways, guys, Mood 616 signing off here. I'll be back next week. Of course, I do not know what the film is going to be. Um, that's up to, up to the randomizer to choose it for me. So, Anyways, guys, thank you for watching and commenting. Peace out, homies.